go on the uneven bars. And when you're that age, you only stay on the low bar because you're tiny and you're learning. And I remember saluting the judges and then standing there. And there was a little thought in my head. Huh, that bar is really far away. I was a kid, so I was like, it's fine. I'm sure I'll just like fly up there. And I, I like, exactly what you think happened, happened. Hello everyone and welcome to The Mixer presented by Emirates. I'm your host, Ali Love. Now today's guest has been, of course, all over the world, but think Tokyo, Stockholm, Mexico City. Yes, yeah, she's been there. She's a two-time Olympic medalist for Team USA. She's a New York Times bestseller and winner of Dancing with the Stars. Please welcome Lori Hernandez. Hi, Lori. Hi. This is so <laughs> exciting. Were you excited when I was giving your intro? Because I felt your energy like rise up. I, I was, was. <laughs> honestly, that was such a delightful intro. You have great energy yourself. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I mean, real recognize real right here. <laughs> also, I mean, I have to say the most common thing is that the curly sisters have to stick together. I mean, the curly hair is on fleek today. Guys. Yes, yes. I've seen you for obviously many years. You've had some intense moments, but of all the things that you've done, whether it is being at the Olympics and competing and winning gold, or it's writing a book, which journey surprised you the most? Like you set out to do them and you're like, actually the end goal was great, but the process was more enjoyable than I ever thought it'd be. Uh, the thing that surprised me the most <laughs> was getting accepted and now uh, attending college. <laughs> it's just wild because I was training for so long and like the games, I always had my fingers crossed and like I always wanted to write a book. And then college came along and I was like, yes, that seems like a good idea that my mom really wants me to do. Oh, oh. Is that <laughs> Yes, sure, please. yes. I'll do orange juice, please. Oh, orange juice, okay. Well, one must not drink orange juice alone. I'll take the OJ as well. Thank you. All right, okay. So yeah. your mom was like, yay. She was like, I'd rather you get a like college diploma than like a gold medal. <laughs> like this, she's like, this is your moment, get the education. And so like I finally, I applied and when I got in, I don't know why I was really surprised, but I was yeah. really surprised. Sweet, the envelope <laughs> comes in, because most times, obviously, you kind of look at the score, right? In competition, yeah. you're looking, you're waiting for the score. You get it, right at it, yeah. Right, you get it right away. Yeah. Like, did you know though, like when you received the letter, you're like, I Honestly, no, because there was a little part of me that was like, you could be looking for something completely different and I might just have to try again next year and that's totally fine. I was homeschooled from the third grade all the way up until I graduated, oh. or yeah, high school. And so like, I haven't had much experience in classrooms, so yeah. it has been wonderful. Are you a student that raises your hand a lot? We're like, oh yeah. Yeah? The teacher today was like, I'm gonna call on someone else. <gasps> and I was like, I'm never gonna raise you're, my hand again. You're like, and no, you're like Han, that's it. My like, yeah, hands are away. I don't even own these. But that shows your enthusiasm <laughs> around university. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's been great. That's awesome. Yeah, I like college. Now, well, I will say I'm not one who focuses on age, but what I recognize is that there's something that you share with many of the players that we witness. You see Coco Goff, 18 years old. Mm, you yeah. see Carlos Alcaraz, who is 19 years old, yeah. like getting out there, doing like five sets. It's intense, going to 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. You know what that intensity feels like. Could you share for those folks like me, who's never had that, how was that for you? Um, honestly, I remember asking when I was like up and coming, does it ever get easier? Like the nerves, does the, oh. like, does the pressure, does the anxiety ever just go away? And she was like, no. <laughs> you just learn how to cope with it and that has literally stuck with me. So I think it's a lot of just like acceptance that it's gonna be scary and mm. that you can still do the hard thing. <laughs> yeah, well I love it. They say it doesn't get easier, you get stronger, but you I think you stronger, actually yeah. provided a little bit more context that I'm gonna take away from this conversation. It's not about just getting stronger, it's that you become more aware and it doesn't get easier. Like, do you yeah. still people, feel people are still watching you to this day? Yeah, it, it can be really nerve wracking sometimes, but it's okay, acceptance is a wonderful thing, you guys. Um, but. I always kind of struggled when people were like, God, you're so fearless. You're so confident. Um, I'm like, like, I don't mind confident, but uh -huh. fearless. Like I, it was like mm. a thorn in my shoe. It bugged me because I was anxious competing. I, I have those really heavy emotions and I would see my teammates and they would kind of like take a deep breath and then go for it. Meanwhile, like when I was younger, I would cry because I was so scared. I would have like a lot of like, big feelings. Oh. There was a lot of like having to come down before the routine starts and I struggled with that a lot. But once you get the hang of it, it really feels like you know yourself and you get to connect with yourself and feel grounded and rooted. And Well, you mentioned routines. A lot yeah. of what you did obviously did translate into Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Talk about that. You won Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. Honestly, 
I didn't know what to expect going into it. Uh -huh. I, I gotta say from the start of the Olympics up until like the middle of Dancing with the Stars, I think I blacked out. I don't remember any of it. As we started getting closer and closer to the finale, I started feeling the pressure of like, oh man, this is, this is a competition mm -hmm. and it is about being the best. Mm. And maybe if I work really, really hard, maybe we can do it. And my partner was like, yeah, of course we can do it. And I'm like, <laughs> thanks, <but like. laughs> So let's flip it a little bit. On Force, there is a segment that we do where you share a very funny blooper that happened. Oh, Obviously, like I said, we know you've been in front of people couple. for a long. You have a, I have time. I have OJ in time. time. I have OJ in time. Tell me more. Cheers to the wipeouts. No. The wipe. Okay, my, the first thing that comes to mind, when I was six, I was getting ready to go on the uneven bars. And when you're that age, you only stay on the low bar because you're tiny and you're learning. And I remember saluting the judges and then standing there. And there's a little thought in my head. Huh, that bar is really far away. I was a kid, so I was like, it's fine. I'm sure I'll just like fly up there. And I, I'm like, exactly what you think happened, happened. Pulled an elastic girl, stretched out as far as can be, reached my little fingers, and then just face planted hard onto the floor. Oh my gosh. Like, and they were like, you get to start over because you technically didn't touch the equipment, so it can't count as a fall. <laughs> there was like, an upside and a very much so downside. I was like, <laughs> you just feel bad for me. Well, thanks yeah. for sharing that. Yeah. I, you know, it's, again, one of the things that is quite beautiful is that you see someone like you who's done so many amazing things and like, it makes you feel good that these real yeah. life things happen to great people as well. Yeah, and I love sharing these things because when I was growing up, I watched all these Olympians do perfect routines perfect. and I never saw bloopers or falls mm -hmm. or mistakes. Yeah, let's continue to make some mistakes. We're gonna play a game, okay, it's called Wills Up. I think okay. we both will make a lot of mistakes. If you don't, okay. I'll carry the team on okay. mistakes. We're gonna take turns okay. guessing okay. locations that Emirates flies, okay? Okay. So I can tell you right now, I'm not good at this. Neither am I. Okay. Mistakes are about to be made, but we're gonna have fun while we do that. I feel like that's gonna happen the entire time. <laughs> oh, um, 2016's Olympic Games. Rio. Yes. <laughs> um, the blip in America, the tail, on the right side, east coast. My, Florida. Yes, Miami. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, how circle. do I explain this? It looks like an elephant ear, but it's within that. Okay, no, just pass. Okay. Um, Use your words, come on. ABBA. Mamma Mia. No. It's, well, Italy. <laughs> no. Tuscany. No, that's no. the same place. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, ABBA, ABBA was from here, the Titanic. Actually, no, the Titanic did not. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Wait, it, didn't, it didn't sail from Where's there. ABBA from? Uh, this is where they're from? This is where they're from. Sweden, yes, Stockholm. Yes, Stockholm. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Good. Oh, um, uh, yeah. oh. Okay. Wow. We got three. Right. I'm not me being like the Titanic. That's Belfast. Sorry, guys. My bad. <laughs> I wouldn't have known. That didn't help at all. But you know yeah. a lot more than I do. That's what it's. So we got three. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. All right, place it on your forehead. Okay. You can go either way. I'm when scared. We... I'm going to be really bad at this. I'm really bad at ex explaining using words. I use words for a living and I'm bad at it. Pass. I, I can't. Okay, this is um, a lot of sand, camels. Um, Egypt? They have, a, they have a really tall tennis court. Um, Cairo? Uh, pass. No. Oh, 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 shoot. Wrong way. Sorry. No, it's okay. Okay, <laughs> the clues for this is not very helpful. You can get the, you can get there pretty quickly from here in about five hours. Um, it's a great place where people go to vacation for spring break that's not Miami. California. Like spring break that people go, um, they have good food, Spanish food, um, rice and beans. <laughs> California. Mexico City. Yes, oh, feels it, keep going, I got that one. Um, there is a Disney movie and it's called this. It's about a musician who, uh, he plays, oh gosh, um, you have it. It's your mind, your body, your heart, and your soul. Yes, keep going. Move it. Oh, yes. thank you. Um, the Red Sox? Austin. Yes. One more, one more. No idea. Don't know what that is. Wait, okay. that was pretty good, though. I thought that was pretty good. Wait. You did a great job. The, I'm, I, the mind, the body, the, you, so, and you I said, nailed that. I was like, I don't know where I I'm going like, with this one. It worked. I think uh, we got four. Wow. You got four. You won. I gotta tell you. You got my accepted mom. into college. You think she you got more accepted into college? Wait, do you think? Be I wonder <laughs> if this is gonna give your mom competition. She was proud, mom very was proud, so proud of the medals, yeah. the competing, the journey. But then even more proud. She of, was prouder like, 
for college. She was like, you know what would be even better? A diploma from college. You know what would be even better? Winning wheels up. Winning wheels up. Yes. (laughs) Cheers. I agree. We should have gotten champagne. I'm kidding. We were making mistakes all over the place. Lori Hernandez, uh, we had good times. We made great mistakes. This was wonderful. And I really enjoyed your energy. I am also proud of you. Just as a human, keep doing you and continue to stay grounded, right? Yeah. Yeah, get grounded. Cheers to you. Thank you so much for joining me here on The Mixer. Thank you. Presented by Emirates. We'll see y'all next time. Yay.